staying on the level that you're at, bro. I don't think we talk about that enough because we always talk about break down what you're talking about first. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Staying on own level. I was watching this clip um, on TikTok, man. It was a Tiger Woods clip, bro. This dude, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods man. Tiger Woods. Watching this clip, bro. This dude, I think PGA posted, whoever posted, it don't matter. But Tiger Woods walking up, bro, I guess to take his first shot of the day or whatever, bro. Mm-hmm. And as always, bro, they make room for these dudes to walk up because you can't be on the on the field and everything. But when I say, bro, he was walking up there, bro, and everybody had their phone out, bro. Everybody had their phone out. Everybody was dead quiet because, okay, for sure, you got to get ready to take a shot. They dead silence. Everybody, like, locked in to see what Tiger Woods is doing. And then this dude, Tiger Woods, finally take his shot, bro. And everybody started hooting and hollering and just like, go, Tiger. Oh, my goodness, Tiger, you're the man. Everybody was going crazy for him. And I was just thinking, like, okay, this ain't the Tiger Woods that, like, we were seeing growing up that was putting on all the green jackets. He was winning all the Masters, and Tiger Woods was for the people, and everybody was, oh, I'm about to start golfing now because Tiger Woods is putting everybody on game. You know, but what I was saying, though, Tiger Woods, he did go through some things in his life, and we're not going to discuss all those. But Tiger Woods went through some things in his life, bro, and it brought him to a different level than what he was on. He wasn't dominating the golfing world like he was before. And I was like, I don't think we appreciate it enough. At the level that we at, bro, staying at this level, because we always want to talk about upgrading and getting to the next level, but how much work it takes to just maintain and stay at this level, bro, we don't give it enough credit, enough honor, enough, like, respect, bro. Because we just see, oh, you still doing the exact same thing that you was doing. Yes, I'm still doing the exact same thing I was doing, bro. Like, if I've been going to the gym for this amount of time for this long period, bro, and I'm still going to the gym for this amount of time for this long of a period, I'm still doing that, bro. It has not changed. I'm still doing the exact same thing. But when you don't understand that, bro, staying at this level that I'm at, bro, it takes a lot of work, bro. And still showing up consistently and doing the exact same thing that I was doing, bro. It takes a lot of work. But if we always focused on, I got to get to the next level. I got to do the next best thing. What is best for me to offer? What can I do to make sure that I'm at a better position than where I'm at right now instead of honoring where I'm at right now and doing all what I can right now? Like, we're just going to keep running in this wheel and we're going to keep running in this trap and never getting out and saying, oh, oh my. my fault, bro. Oh my. my fault, bro. Relax. I was feeling this, man. I know. I was, I was feeling like, this, like, hey, time. <laughs> Break. All right, relax. Relax. I was about to give you a 45 minute it sermon, is, man. Relax. I was about to give you your sermon, man. All right, man. Hey, it's supposed to be a discussion. And leave the dollars in the offering table when it's over, man. <laughs> Where your towel at? <laughs> Where your towel at? I'm hot. If God would just bless us. Oh, man. I don't really know how to follow that. That man was just going in. Yeah, man. It's just like, this, hey. This is what I do want to say, though. Hey, man. This to is make a discussion. it more of a discussion. Um, we talk about it, bro. We didn't say it like getting to the next level, bro. But I don't think we give enough emphasis to maintain it. How important maintenance is. You know? It's the hardest part. Yeah, bro. Maintaining is the hardest part to me. Like, I've had to deal with that I don't know how long as far as whether writing, reading, working out, taekwondo. The consistency is the hard part. Yeah. And it, it evolves over time. What you were able to do a month ago might not work for your situation now. Just like before when I was going to Taekwondo and things like that and I was living with my parents, no big deal. Go after work, go home. And then it'll be something to eat. But now I have way more responsibility and what I was able to do just a month prior, I can no longer do that next month. So you got to be willing to evolve in that situation. And I think that's kind of important. The evolution within maintaining. Either... Do you what? think we always need to be improving? Always. I'm talking about... For me personally, yeah. I, I need to k- keep learning something. I have to keep learning. I have to keep thinking. I have to improve myself yeah. mentally. I'm I'm way more into the mental things than the physical things, but I have to. I, I need it. But not everybody needs it. People are perfectly fine with just staying in the middle. And there's nothing wrong with that. Bro... How can you ever master something if you're always trying to improve on it? I suppose it depends on the on the topic. You know what I'm saying? But like, mastery, I've always kind of confused that because mastery is not perfection. That's true, bro. But you can be a master of a lot of things, but you'll never be perfect at it. Yeah. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Yeah, I mean. It's the pursuit. 
I'm okay with learning. Like, let's just use an example. Like, if Michael Jordan was teaching me how to shoot a basketball, bro, he not going to make every single shot he take. Mm-hmm. But I'm still okay with learning how to shoot a basketball from Michael Jordan. You know what <clears> I'm saying? <throat> but I don't know, bro, if I'm willing to learn from him because every single day he was trying to add something new to his game. Or if he really just well, got I guess to the at, point. at the end of the day, a shot is going to be a shot. I don't think you can just really improve your shot well, I mean, beyond you can a certain change your point. Form, you know what I'm saying? How you if, if the form's working, that's true. So I guess it really depends. I guess. But I then know. you start to master it because of the repetition of you constantly doing it over and over and seeing, yeah. bro, okay, instead of flicking hard on this, I need to do a little bit softer. Instead of, you know, and that's where you get the critiques is from doing it over and over and the same, doing the same thing over and over and over and over mm-hmm. again. And that's how you get the critiques, and that's how you figure out what I'm supposed to do, what I'm not supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how we respect the Tiger Woods, you know, at, at the top of the golfing world, because this dude has been doing this thing since he was three years old. Don't get me wrong, you add things from the age of three to whatever. I don't know when he won his first one, let's say 20. And so from those 17 years, you added new things to your game for sure. But the exact same thing that you was doing, like you still doing that over and over and over again, bro, and just improving upon that. Yeah. You know, I just don't, I think even myself included, bro, is that I'm always trying to see what's the next thing, what's the next thing, what's the, and it's like, why not focus on getting this thing that you're doing right now in order? I gave you an example. And master it. I gave you an example that's going on right now. So my hobbies are shifting, bro. My hobbies are shifting right now. And Mariah really made it like evident because she's seen it. My hobbies are shifting. What are your hobbies? I'm not really hooping like that right now. And y'all know how much I love to hoop, man. Love to hoop. What's your hobbies right now? My hobby is shifting to fishing. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you can master. My hobbies is shifting, bro. And it's like, I'm not going to sit here and lie like I didn't master basketball, bro. And I got it all down. But I was like, um... This one dude, he was pointing out, bro, and I don't even know why I just... Like, I wasn't even really trying to get to this when I was hooping. I just wanted to get a workout and an exercise. Yep. But this dude that was hooping with me, bro, like, he's been hooping with me for a minute now, bro. And uh, we didn't actually got cool, like... But anyway, um, he was like, bro, your game has changed, bro, like, over the time. Like, I didn't see you when you was first hooping. I was like, man, I appreciate that, bro. But then I got to think in my head, like, bro, that was not my intentions. Like, I was not trying to... Like really perfect my basketball game. That was yeah. not my thing. But just I was a byproduct. It was just a byproduct, man, of me doing it over and over and over again. Like I started like, okay, bro, if you do this, you obviously gonna get your shot blocked. So stop doing that. And you don't really realize it until yeah. then. Yeah, until until I until, start to until see it. someone points it out or you just like it just kind of awakens. Yeah. Because like when I was a white belt throwing them kicks, it it seemed like I was doing something, but I wasn't really doing anything. Mm-hmm. And now when I'm throwing kicks, I'm like, okay, we're really, we're doing something. Yeah. But even now, my kicks are terrible. And I know like two, three years from now, I'm like, man, like now this is it. And there's going to come a point to where my kick is going to be kind of pretty much mastered yeah. at, the, at the end of the day. And things like that, the physical stuff, I don't really think you can really improve it beyond a certain point. Yeah. You can just try to maintain it as long as you can because your body is going to give out.